All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at section 3.2 of the study guide, Solve Linear Systems Algebraically. So the first one is solve using substitution method. So we want to look at both equations and we want to determine which one can we easily solve for a variable. Okay, looking at it carefully, it looks like that one. Because we, all we have to do is uh, subtract 3x from both sides. So if I do that, I end up with y equals negative 3x minus 1. All right, now I'm going to substitute that into the other equation. So I'm going to take this and plug it into the y. All right, so here we go. We've got 4x minus 7 times, switch colors, times negative 3x minus 1 equals negative 18. All right, so we've got a little bit of solving to do here. We're going to have to distribute, combine like terms, and get x by itself. All right, here we go. So 4x. Distribute, that becomes plus 21x plus 7 equals negative 18. Combine like terms, we got 25x plus 7 equals negative 18. All right, now we're down to a two-step equation. Take away 7. All right, that equals negative 25. Divide by 25. And we end up with x equaling negative 1. All right. Now, the easiest way to solve for y would be to take that negative 1 and plug it into this equation. All right, so y equals negative 3 times negative 1 minus 1. So that ends up being y equals 3 minus 1, or 2. So the solution to the system is negative 1, 2. All right, number 4. Solve using the elimination method. Well, in order to use the elimination method, we need to have either the x or the y be the same number, one positive, one negative, so that they can eliminate. Well, it looks like the y would be the easiest. So 5 and 3, the least common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. And the 5 has already got a minus sign in front of it, and the 3 has got a plus sign. So we don't need to worry about signs. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, in order to make that into a 15y, or minus 15y, we're going to need to multiply the top one by 3. And in order to make the 3y into a 15y, we're going to need to multiply that by 5. All right, here we go. So the top equation becomes 36x minus 15y equals 27. The bottom equation becomes 35x plus 15y equals, let's see, 5 times 23, that's 115. Now, we can easily eliminate the y. All right, 36 plus 35, that becomes 71. And 27 plus 115 is 142. Divide by 71, and just like that, we know what x is. And let's see, 142 divided by 71 is 2. All right, now we're going to take that 2, and we're going to plug that in. I'm going to plug it into the bottom equation. Okay, I'm going to plug it into that one. doesn't matter. You can plug it into the top one. Just make sure you plug it into the x. All right, so now we have 7 times 2 plus 3y equals 23. So that's 14 
plus 3y equals 23. Subtract 14. 3y equals 9. Divide by 3. y is 3. So the solution to this system is 2, 3. All right, number five, another substitution. So in this one, which one would be the easiest one to get a variable by itself? Well, that would be the top one. So I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to add 9y. All right, so x equals 9y plus 68. All right, now I'm going to plug that into, I'm going to plug this into this x. All right, here we go. So we've got negative 11 times the 9y plus 68 plus 6y equals negative 97. All right. Distributive property. So let's see, we've got negative 99y and a negative 11 times 68, that would be minus 748 or plus negative 748 plus 6y equals negative 97. Combine like terms, combine the y's, that's negative 93y minus 748 equals negative 97. Add 748, and now negative 93y equals six, 651. Oops. All right, divide by negative 93, and we see that y is negative 7. Okay, now I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to go way back here, and I'm going to plug it in right there. So x equals negative 9 times negative 7 plus 68. Okay, it's not a negative 9, sorry. That's a positive 9. I thought I made a mistake there. It's positive 9. So now 9 times 7 is negative 63 plus 68. And so x equals 5. There we go. 5, negative 7 is the solution. All right, number 6, another elimination method. So in this problem, I think I'm going to get rid of the x so I got to think of a least common multiple for 6 and 8, and that would be 24. Now, they're both positive, so I need one of them to become a negative. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 4, and the bottom one by a positive 3, because the the negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, and the 3 times 8 is positive 24. That way they can eliminate. So the top becomes negative 24x plus 28y equals negative 52. The bottom becomes 24x plus 27y equals negative 3. All right. So the x's will eliminate. Adding the y's together, we get 55y. And that equals negative 55. All right. Divide by 55, and we see that y is negative 1. Okay, not bad. Now I'm going to plug that, I think I'll plug that, I'm going to plug that into the bottom one. So I've got 3x 
plus 9 times negative 1 equals negative 1. So 3x, that becomes minus 9 equals negative 1. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to add 9. Wait, that's an 8. That's an 8. My, I'm silly. That's an 8. Looks like a 3. That's an 8, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Okay. Be careful. Easy to make a mistake. That's an 8. Okay, so plus 9. So we've got 8x equals 8. Divide by 8. Oh, yep. And we see that x is 1. Whew, thought I made another mistake. So that means the solution to this system is 1 negative 1. All right. Be careful. Easy to make that silly mistake with that line covering the 8 made it look like a 3. All right. Two more left in this section. Turn the page. All right. Another substitution. So let's see. Looks like the bottom equation we're going to get the y by itself. So let's see. So that would be y equals negative 3x plus 12. Okay, I didn't show the work. All I did was subtract 3x from both sides. All right, I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to plug this in to right there. All right, here we go. So I've got negative 6x minus 2 times negative 3x plus 12 equals negative 8. All right, negative 6x plus 6x minus 24 equals negative 8. Combining like terms, oh, I see the x's eliminate. So I end up with negative 24 equals negative 8. No. That does not work. So what does that mean? Okay, that means, ladies and gentlemen, there's no solution to this one. Okay, negative 24 cannot equal negative 8. So that's a no solution. All right. Use elimination on this next one. Well, if I look carefully, I've already got a 15 here. So I want this x on the bottom, I want this to become a negative 15. So all I need to do is multiply the bottom by a 3. All right, so the top did not change. But the bottom is going to become negative 15x plus 24y equals negative 33. And... Like magic, the x's disappear, the y's cancel out, the 33's, so we end up with 0 equals 0. That is true. What does that mean? That means there are infinite solutions. All right, that's it for Chapter 3.2 of the Study Guide.